Peter Chang here. In this stage of our build, we're going to go ahead and install the base plate for our Noctia NHD14 heatsink and fan. And because the heatsink and fan are so large and massive, uh, we have to take some greater care with uh, making sure that the base is actually stable. So here we're just taking some smaller steps in the making sure that the base plates are flush with the with the bottom of the motherboard and right now I'm just kind of hand screwing in these uh, these base plates here and remember it's not a uh, contest you should really just take your time you're not racing against anyone else uh, you're just kind of leisurely building out the case and right now you see like how much it's kind of uh, shaking and stuff uh, it's just because everything's not screwed in right uh, tight or screwed in uh, really well so I'm just taking the time to screw in things kind of lightly uh, just uh, taking it kind of leisurely because I want to make sure that everything is is uh, nice and set and what I've decided was that previously when I had the screws when I screwed in one side and screwed in the other side um, it kind of buckled a little bit so I'm going to try a different approach to screwing this in I just need to make sure that everything is nice flush and level so we're going to try a different approach here and also uh, I just need to make sure that uh, uh, everything is going to fit in nicely here too so Let's go ahead and try this again here. You notice I screwed in one corner. I'm going to go ahead and try to screw in the plate for the opposite corner. So kind of like a X pattern or a diagonal pattern. And what I find with the diagonal pattern is that uh, you ensure that uh, at least two sides of the opposite ends are screwed in nice and nice and tight and you form a better formation. So I'm just going to hand screw it in and when I hand screw it in it's not really really super tight it's just uh, for positioning purposes really. I'm going to get the uh, screwdriver here and actually screw this one in tighter. And because I got this fancy smancy screwdriver it's got uh, it's got a couple of different settings so just go ahead and, and adjust it so it works just like a uh, regular screwdriver. And sorry, the, uh, the cameras or my elbows kind of block in the uh, the camera view, but uh, rest assured, I'm just kind of screwing it in in that diagonal slanted uh, X pattern. So here we go. Let's go ahead and put in the last screw here. And really just when you're at the stage of the game, just take some time, make sure you're going nice and slow, that you're not rushing, that you're just really taking your time. Uh, for, for some reason, historically, installing the uh, CPU in the heatsink always, always is going to be the hardest part for uh, a lot of, lot of new system builders. Uh, this is the part where I usually get phone calls from people that that are like hey, help you know like cries for help that that uh, you know something with the builds gone wrong and it's usually with this uh, part of the install so I just advise you to take this part nice and slow and just read through the manual uh, do a little dry fitting so right now I'm going ahead and just uh, by dry fit I mean uh, test fitting and here we go it's gonna peel off the uh, bottom parts of the of the case there the the plastic covering for the heat sink from the Noctia heat sink and case fan and I see uh, I was doing this to line it up to make sure that uh, my screw and my uh, case are actually nice and flush what I've noticed here with this test fitting is that the uh, the heat sink and, and uh, uh, CPU fan are going to be in the way of my uh, memory so 
prior to securely screwing that part down, I am going to uh, install the uh, memory first. So I'm going to need to remove this uh, this uh, sticker. It's an awesome sticker explaining the uh, thermal killing of the shroud here, but uh, I just need to remove this sticker so that it is out of my way. And for some reason, this sticker, uh, usually stickers are really easy to remove, but this sticker was glued on really tight. And you see as I peeled it away, it's uh, it uh, flaked apart. So uh, I have to go ahead and painstakingly uh, clean this part off So before I install the memory. So uh, just remember, don't rush at any step. Make sure you, you, uh, you take pains to make sure everything's okay before moving on. So it's about 10 minutes later, I finally got in that, uh, the memory slots all nice and clean. And the memory I'll be installing is a uh, crucial memory. It's uh, the uh, Ballistic X uh, Tracer series. What's really awesome about the Tracer series is that it's got these little LEDs that, that uh, flash the status of of uh, boot up and start up and shut down and and uh, how the how the system is acting overall. Uh, what's kind of limiting about this memory is that I can only find these these memory sticks in uh, two gig increments and two gig chunks. But the coolness outweighs the the uh, lack of memory capacity. So if you're going for like uh, something like a 16 gig install. Uh, you may want to pass on this memory. You may want to go with a Corsair memory or a Oz memory, uh, or or a different version of the uh, Ballistic X memory. So, because I'm going to install uh, eight gigs, this means I'm going to go ahead and use up all four of these slots. So, I'm just going ahead and just put it down. And then when you install memory, it's just kind of keyed at an angle. So just push it in and you notice like these little notches here so we will just go ahead and just push that in there and pretty much let's it's just the same procedure with the uh, other three sticks of memory so let's go ahead and drop those in and remember just take your time uh, I've actually seen people rush through this step um, and also I just want to point out with the uh, ACES uh, P64, or I'm sorry, not P64, but P67 uh, Sabertooth board, uh, the memory slot uh, key, uh, the corner slot, actually it's only that one end of the corner actually pushes down, the left side does not push down, so there we are. Uh, some of the older boards, or some of the other boards, you might see that both sides of the uh, memory slot both go down, but in this case it's uh it's only that one side so here I am on my last stick so just take your time just relax and you get through it great so everything looks awesome and if I didn't do that that test fitting with the Noctia processor and heatsink fan uh, I would not have noticed that that uh, you know, like I would have, I probably would have just installed that and then uh, realized, oh no, like there's no room for the memory and had to like undo everything. So just test fit along the way and you would, you would get there just fine. So let's go ahead and get the uh, heatsink ready. Uh, before I do that, I need to apply some thermal paste to the uh, CPU. And there's a lot of like, uh, conjecture, a lot of uh, ideas and theory behind how you apply thermal paste to uh, to a processor. And generally, I just like to put like a gigantic like dab right in the center, and and then put my uh, heatsink and uh, fan right over it. I don't really feel that there is a right way or wrong way to do this. It's just that everyone's kind of got like a like a different idea. Uh, different mentality and I don't think it's right or wrong with any way I just think it's it's a uh, uh, it, it would just be wrong if you're not applying any thermal paste I feel 
So there it is. It's just that kind of painless. So let me just go ahead and make sure that everything is aligned here. And here we go. There we are. And I'm going ahead and uh, grab the screw. And what's interesting is that it's such a long reach for that for that heat sink to that screw. Nocti is actually provided in here with uh, with the uh, heat sink and and a fan unit a uh, a special long screwdriver. So it it's uh, it's really it's really awesome that Nocti does that because otherwise there would have been like no way that I would have been able to screw in that that uh, that screw there. The only the only problem is it's a, it's a little bit harder to use this the screw device so uh, compared to my fancy fancy screwdriver so I just kind of have to be more patient so I just need to go a little slower but it's working really awesome and because I took some time with that with that foundation uh, making sure that that foundation was was nice flat and level I'm having an easier time screwing in this heat sink and fan unit and you'd find that any little time that you you take really does pay off and remember just don't rush through this step make sure that you're doing the best work possible because it if you if you kind of rush through this step uh, it does affect the quality of your build and your processor is not going to be as cool as it as it could possibly be so really just take your time it it does get frustrating I realize some of these uh, if you're not using the Noctia uh, heat sink and fan you might use Zelman you might use a uh, Prolima tech uh, all that, or uh, cooler master uh, all of those have like their own little tricks and caveats so I always encourage you to do like a little test fitting if you could and here I am just making sure I just tighten everything up one last time so there we are just losing the grip there but it's coming along nicely and there we are now the only step is I just need to insert in that that middle fan here and it was easy to take out it was just spring clip loaded so we'll just go ahead and just spring clip everything back nice and tight there. Now our only last step is to insert in the uh, motherboard and we've got the case all set up so we'll just go ahead and just move some some of these uh, plugins out of the way and that's my father-in-law Court. Uh, he's great assist there, really smart and awesome guy to work with. Generally when you're building your your case build uh, or your DIY computer it's always nice to have a good friend and a uh, buddy to work with and Cord is uh, one of the smartest guys I know and it's really awesome having him help me out here so in this case because I've taken some steps in making sure that uh, everything was okay with the with the initial test fittings you see how easy it is to drop in the board and the processor.